Hi everyone, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. Salamat Po for watching this video. Lose control or lose your wife. Please consider subscribing if you haven't. By this title, Lose Control or You'll Lose Your Wife, I'm talking about controlling your wife. When I look at articles on the internet from women who are commenting on uh, these relationships, older men, younger women, I often see comments like, these older men just want to control the woman. Um, well, you know, it kind of goes both ways. And, and here's why. Um, I've mentioned this before, Genesis 3.16, where it talks about a wife's having desire for her husband, that really means her desire to control him. And, um, you know, he will rule over his wife. That really means he will try to control her. That's just a sin condition that we have in all of our relationships. And Ephesians 5, being filled with the Holy Spirit, is the only way to, to, um, to deal with that and to not have that to deal with. So control. If you know you are have a tendency to control the other person, of course that's not going to be good for a relationship and you don't want anybody to control you. So, you know, your wife is not your slave. She may be a Filipina that's a lot younger from a poor country, but she is not a slave and she is someone to be appreciated. Now, um, she is to submit to her husband, and the Bible even says in everything that is in everything that is not sinful, and she is to be his helper, but she is never considered his slave. She is her helper. So um, the husband needs to create an environment that the wife will find it easy to submit in. Now, without taking a lot of time, if you read 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8, it's the, the love chapter, and there's, there's the great definition of love that is so elusive to many people. But just read what it says there. You know, it talks about kindness, you know, and patience, and um, hoping for the best, uh, believing all things, um, not being selfish. If a person loves like that, well, then he's, he's not controlling. In fact, he's going to have a wife that wants to help him and be submissive to him because uh, he'll be loving her the way you know Christ loves his church. That's 1 Corinthians 13 about love. One of the things you can do is let your wife make decisions, make, let her make big decision, decisions, but help her, guide her, use your experience, since she's, if she's in America, a different country for her, and help her to own those decisions, to see what it takes to make a good decision. But don't, don't be the one that makes all decisions financially or otherwise. Teach her responsibility of the finances. Um, eventually, you know, she's going to have to have a checking account. Eventually, uh, a debit card, something like that. And that'll be good for you, too. But you've got to teach her things and uh, help her to be responsible. And then eventually, she'll be able to make better decisions. But work with her in this way. Appreciate her. Everything that she does, always, from the start of the day to the end of the day, appreciate her. Tell her that she, she means a lot to you and um, you help her, that she helps you so much. And uh, treat her like an equal, which she is, heirs of the grace of life, 1 Peter 3, 7, which I believe means uh, marriage is the best situation for a man and a woman. It's the normal situation, unless God has gifted somebody with the ability to be single. Another thing, let her have her friends. And uh, <clears throat> one thing you can do in this way is to help guide her to the right people. Uh, friends, uh, let's say from church, that would be a good influence on her. I mean, that's one thing that you would have control of. My wife said shortly after she got here, I am the boss in the house and you are the boss outside the house. Now, it wasn't kind of a threat. It wasn't an order or anything like that. She's just saying, in the house, she wants to have control over the decisions. And so I let her design it, pick the colors for this house. I let her, you know, pick the furniture. Although I have some input, of course, but I want this place to be hers. I want it to feel like her home and let her build her nest here. I, I don't want to get involved with those things because I, I don't think I need to and I don't think it would be 
helpful. Uh, what does it mean? I'm the boss of those things outside the house. Well, you know, probably to some extent financially. Um, and I want to talk to her about every decision to make sure that she's, she's on board with it and she understands it. Um, well, just, just whatever, you know, but basically inside the home, that's her thing, what we eat, how it looks. Uh, but everything else, she may say I'm in charge, but I'm going to let her in on everything we do because I want her input in everything. So another thing, be tactful and gentle when wanting your wife to do something that she is uncomfortable with. Uh, no point in, again, forcing her to do something. She's just going to resent that. Regard her as better than yourself, which is biblical. And, um, you know, even Christ said, you know, give up your life for your wife because that's or, or uh, Ephesians says that, uh, husbands love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself up for her. And so this is the opposite of controlling someone. It's humility and saying, you're, you're better than I am. Your needs are more important than I am. And this is something that a husband can do. But no need to control your wife. I think that's in a lot of divorces today. So it does not have to be that way. Uh, the Bible never says to control one another. You are heirs of the grace of life. No one is superior to the other. So just concentrate on enjoying life with, but not trying to control your love beyond the sea.